All right, so I am here with Dr. Rachel Shine, and I'm gonna ask her a few questions um, before she enters our office in just a couple short weeks um, about a little bit about herself and the practice and anything that she wants to share with us. So are you all set to go, Dr. Shine? I'm ready if you are. All right. So first question I have is if you could just tell me a little bit about why you decided to become a chiropractor. Absolutely. So I actually grew up, um, my, my dad was a podiatrist, so I grew up in a household with kind of more of a medical mindset. Um, that being said, I always knew I wanted to go into the health field. And when I was in college, I actually had my own personal experience with a chiropractor where I was having some whiplash and neck pain and uh, went in and, you know, of course, the, the typical response is, oh, like, maybe you should take some pain medication. Right. Um, and my, my dad was actually friends with a chiropractor in the area. And he said, you know, I, I know this guy down the road. He's really good. Maybe you could get that checked out. And so I went to see him. And within two visits, my pain was completely gone. Oh, my no goodness. No medication needed. Yep. And so, you know, I was like, well, there, there might be something to this. So I did a little more research and I realized I loved the idea of being in healthcare, but in, with more of a conservative approach. So awesome. That's kind of what inspired my passion for the field. That's awesome. I love that. And um, that's actually a really similar story to Dr. Jeff's um, himself. You know, he had some issues going on as a child. Um, he played a lot of sports and things like that. So same thing. He visited a chiropractor and kind of the same idea was like, I can help people the same way. So that's awesome. Very yeah. cool. All right. So before you made the move up here, um, where did you previously work? And, you know, you can tell us a little bit about that practice if you'd like. Sure. So for the last two years, I've been working in an office in the Chicago suburbs. Um, it's been a really good experience. I saw a wide variety of patients from infants to people in their 90s. There was even a lady who had just turned 100 that I was able to take care of. Um, awesome. So definitely a wide range of patients. Um, some passions that I have as far as practice goes, I love to work with pregnant patients. I love working with elderly patients, and I love working with patients who have chronic pain. So if you have any nagging awesome. aches or pains that you've been dealing with for a really long time, maybe chronic migraines, I love being able to work with those people and come up with a plan to help tackle those issues. Perfect. Actually, that goes right into the next question, which is if you have a lot of experience um, adjusting and working with all types of patients, for example, infants, children, elderly, pregnant women, athletes. So you just touched on a few of those, which is awesome. Um, we do see a lot, a wide, a wide range of, um, you know, patient demographic and things like that in our office. So you know, we see all the way from newborn all the way up to, you know, elderly. So um, I think that's really interesting and helpful that you've experienced different types of patients and um, the focus on, like you said, the pregnant, elderly, chronic pain, all stuff that you'll see here. So that will be awesome. Absolutely. Perfect. All right. So one of the questions I get a lot from patients um, kind of was kind of gearing this toward like things I get asked about the doctor, you know, from patients is, do you use, and I quote, the gun, which is obviously the activator. Um, so patients ask that a lot, as well as, you know, they'll word it as, does Dr. Jeff use the gun or manual manipulation? Um, so I figured it would be a combina uh, question to ask you, you know, do you use one or the other or a combination of both? Absolutely, yeah. So I like using a wide variety of treatments when Perfect. I see patients. Um, I know everyone is unique, so yep. every, and also people have preferences. And of course. luckily with the training I had, I went, I had the, the same program that Dr. Jeff had uh, over at Palmer, so I'm well-versed in a lot of different techniques, whether it's manual, um, I do a technique called drop technique, which is kind of in between the gun and more of a manual adjustment. I also do activator, which is the, the gun technique. Um, I like to do a lot of work on the muscles, a lot of myofascial release, and definitely can be, um, you know, I, I can change up my style depending on the person I'm mm -hmm. treating. That's awesome. Um, again, very similarly to the way that Dr. Jeff operates, I think, you know, your kind of treatment styles will gel nicely together and be comfortable, you know, what our patients will be used to and kind of what we like to practice in the office. So that's great. 
Absolutely. Perfect. And that's honestly one of the reasons why I decided to join the practice because I knew that Dr. Jeff and I had very complimentary skills. Yes. And again, that's my next question. I love it. I was going to say, you know, what made you choose to apply and, and, or, you know, accept our offer to work here at Newman Chiropractic? Um, so obviously, like you said, you've got similar, um, styles and, kind of mindsets on treatment plans, which I think is important because, you know, obviously if you're that one-minded, you know, oh, this is what I'm going to do for every patient. It doesn't always work. So that's great. Were there any other reasons that we kind of stuck out as um, an interest to you? Absolutely. Yeah. So the main reason we're moving back to Massachusetts is I actually just got engaged. My fiance is from the North Shore originally. Yeah. Thank you. He's from uh, Peabody, Massachusetts. Awesome. And so we decided, you know, my contract at my previous position was coming to an end and we decided we'd like to be closer to our families and really plant roots in the area and try and get more involved in the community. So um, when I saw the, uh, the opening at Newman Chiropractic, I seemed like a perfect fit. It was the location we wanted to be in. Um, awesome. I love the small town feel of the area. Mm. And then, you know, the cherry on top was really, we have very similar practice styles. Yeah. So I think it'll be a really good fit. That's awesome. And, you know, I think it's, um, just from my own experience, even um, seeing different chiropractors over my life, there really is, you know, everybody does have their different methods and techniques. Um, and so far, you guys seem to line up, which is, is really exciting. Yeah. That's great. All right. So what are you hoping to um, gain or learn from by becoming a part of our office? Is there specifics that you are hoping to either acquire more knowledge on or um, something, you know, specifically from our practice or Dr. Jeff that you're hoping to kind of learn about? Absolutely. Um, well, really the main, my main goal with joining the practice is really trying to get immersed in the community. Mm-hmm. And I know based on what Dr. Jeff has done in the area and the practice in general has done, there's, he's definitely done a lot to get more of that health and wellness mindset out there. And so yep. I feel really inspired by that. And I think that uh, with my goals in mind, I think that's going to be a really great way to immerse myself in the community and get to know you and and everybody, you know, fellow healthcare providers in the area as yeah. well, and just really become part of the community and not just kind of stagnate in a role where I'm not yes. putting myself out there. Yep. So awesome. definitely planning on, on, yeah, getting out there and meeting you guys. Perfect. Well, we're super, super excited. I love it. Um, so last question is what you hope to add or bring to our office and community, Absolutely. if you will. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely think um, having a male and a female practitioner in a practice is, is great. Yes, um, agreed. You know, some patients have a preference for one gender versus the other. Maybe mm-hmm. there's an area of treatment that's a little more sensitive where they would prefer, you know, male or female. Mm-hmm. So I think that's great. Um, I definitely have a passion for women's health as well as, uh, working on pregnant patients, so yep. I think that will definitely add a lot to the practice as well. I am Webster certified, which is a pregnancy-specific yes. technique. Right. Um, so definitely just planning on bringing more of that female energy to the clinic, but, you know, in yeah. a way that's complementary to what Dr. Jeff already offers. Excellent. Perfect. I think that um, the combination of the two of you, both in the office, I think is definitely going to be a positive change. And like you said, you know, sometimes people do have preferences in terms of um, specific gender that they prefer to have work on them or whatever. So I think being able to offer that opportunity to patients is going to be beneficial for sure. Awesome. Well, Dr. Shine, that is all I have. I really appreciate you doing a little get to know um, before you start. We are looking forward to welcoming you into the office. And honestly, no, almost no time at all. You'll be here. So, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. a couple more weeks. I know. Any questions for me or anything you want to add or ask or anything? Um, not necessarily any questions, but I'm always happy to answer questions that anyone may have. So awesome. You're welcome to reach me at Dr. Rachel Shine. That's S-C-H-E-I-N at gmail.com. Feel free to shoot me an email. I'm happy to talk to you that way. Or, you know, once I start working, May 3rd should be my first day in the office. So you're always yes. welcome to call and I'll be around if you have any questions for me that way. Awesome. We really appreciate you being open to talking to everybody. This is great. All right. Thank you. Okay.